ஹலோ மை நேம் இஸ் மீனா கதிரவிழுப்பிள்ளே அண்ட் ஐ எம் அ சப்போர்ட் இன்ஜினியர் வித் ப்ராடக்ட்கள் டுடே ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் சீபில் ஓப்பன் யூஐ ப்ரெசன்டேஷன் மாடல் அண்ட் ஹவு டு கஸ்டமைஸ் தி அப்ளிகேஷன் தி அஜெண்டா டுடே வுட் பி வாட் அ ப்ரெசன்டேஷன் மாடல் கிளாஸஸ் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஆஃப் அ ப்ரெசன்டேஷன் மாடல் ஜாவா ஸ்கிரிப்ட் ஃபைவ் ஹவு டு கஸ்டமைஸ் த மெனிஃபெஸ்ட் இன் சீபில் ஓப்பன் யூஐ கிளையண்ட் அ ஃபியூ ட்ரபிள் ஷூட்டிங் ஸ்டெப்ஸ் அண்ட் ஃபைனலி அ ஷார்ட் டெமோ With presentation model, you could add extra logic to be executed against the Siebel Open UI client. The code resides in JS files and written in jQuery. The code runs on the client without server interaction. You could trap any standard method like new record, delete record and add extra logic. The biggest advantage is that you can customize Siebel at Open UI without any SRF change. The structure of PM JavaScript file You define a class, a constructor for the class and implement the logic. In this screenshot, you can see the custom logic is implemented inside the function pre-invoke method. Please note that the syntax shown here is for 8.1.1.11 onwards. Now we are going to see how to customize the manifest, which is the most important step in making your JS file work. As seen on the slide, the first step is to make sure you put the JS file in the correct folder. Make a note of the folders used for the dedicated client and the thin client from the example shown here. The second step is to go into administration application screen, manifest files view and create a new record for your JS file as shown on this slide. It will be in the format Siebel custom your JS file name. The third step is to go into administration application screen and manifest administration view. On the top applet UI objects, you will create a new record for the Siebel object for what you want to execute. In the bottom left applet object expression, create a new record for the application type the screenshot uses for desktop application. On the bottom right applet which says files, create a new record for the new JS file. Once these changes are done, clear your browser crash before testing your changes. If for some reason the changes doesn't work, you can go through this troubleshooting steps. First of all, make sure the browser cache is cleared. Next, check if the custom JS file is downloaded to the browser. You can do this, for example, in Chrome by right click, inspect element, click on the source tab and navigate to the Siebel custom directory and check if your JS file is seen. You can also check for other errors in the console or by turning on Java console. This slide shows some additional resources where you can find more information on customizing Siebel Open UI. Next, we will have a short demo. We are going to see how to customize Siebel Open UI client using JavaScript in the presentation model. The first step is to make sure the custom JS file stores into the correct location. In this example, I am using a dedicated client and the custom JS file goes into the Siebel root directory public, the language, the build, script, table, and then custom folder. So this is the JS file that we have created. If you look at the JS file by itself, we have created a class, a constructor, and then the custom code goes here. The next step is to go into Siebel Open UI client, go into administration application, then first files view, and create a new record for the custom JS file here which I have already created we will custom del recycle bin pm model dot js the next step is to go into the same screen administration application and we go into manifest administration view and here you create a new entry for the applet against which you want to execute the custom logic Usage type is presentation model and the applet is service request list applet and then bottom we go into object expression applet and create a new record. We are using desktop application. And the level is 1 and that is done. We go into the bottom right applet which says file. You have a new record. And then you can query for the 
gigs, like so this is the file so I'm selecting that once this is done you have to cache clear the cache go into more tools if you do not clear the cache the changes that you are made will not take effect So once that is done, ideally you will log out, close the browser and open it. But I am going to continue here, where I am going to go into server to check our changes. Now I want to delete a record which has a status open. And now the JS file is being executed and it says the record cannot be deleted since the status is not closed. This is the logic we have added. So now let me go into a closed service request and here the custom here should let me delete the record. So it's now executing the standard message and the record is deleted. And this is the end of the demo. Thank you.